Hey guys, thank you for joining us and we're gonna go on another adventure today. Let's see where it takes us. So first on our stop is going to be Funko Hollywood. If you haven't been, highly recommend it's on Hollywood Boulevard. All of their merchandise is changing every single day for the most part. They have everything from the sodas to t-shirts to the bigger pops. And then they also have lots of displays that are, now that you have it, Wakanda Forever, that are there for you to take pictures with and of. And they do have various genres and various rooms for these genres, so we're in the Hall of Justice here. Photo opportunity. They also have the shipwreck from The Little Mermaid. Before you were able to go ahead and where that blue rope is, go and take a picture with Ariel. Of course, COVID's changed a lot for us, hasn't it? You used to be able to sit on the throne here with the villains and get on the back of the dragon. Rick and Morty used to be able to get on the ship. And there really is a little bit of everything for everyone. So as you can see here, the House of Horrors. Blech. <laughs> and there you have more whores. And then of course to throw it back. Oh yeah. There we go, spending money as always. 10 out of 10, highly recommend, even if we're in a pandemic right now. They're super good about social distancing and keeping everybody safe by limiting the number of guests that go inside. Now we're off to our next destination. Can you guess where we are? So we're here at City Walk. Yummy. How's the burrito? Hot. Spicy? Temperature? Then we just went ahead and continued our walk to see what's new. So Universal really um, recently came up with this Production Central store. And it's kind of like a tribute store, so they have a little bit of everything. So from Horror Nights, they did have the Tristan Eaton collection, a couple of uh, select items. And then, of course, whenever you come to City Walk, you want to see that globe. So that's where I'm headed now. And on the day that we went, it was actually blocked off because they had just finished filming not too long ago for America's Got Talent. So snack time. If you haven't tried these mini donuts, they are pretty good. And this is Sparky's, the original Funko store, basically. This is where Funko started. It was a little knick-knack shop back then. And they had everything from these Pez dispensers is kind of what they started off with and wacky wobblers and then 
slowly but surely Funkos were introduced, so super cool, super iconic. Now they just have it as a candy store, which is a little bit sad, but the doors that we walked through used to be display windows, and that's where they used to display all the different pops that were coming out, and they had photo ops for you to pretend that you were a pop. But they really do have a variety of like all the candy you can think of, chocolate covered bugs, different chocolate covered nuts, the alcohol infused candy, the Harry Potter candy, pretty much anything you can think of they have in here. Sparky's was the old Funko store back in the day, so yeah, you ready to try some little mini donuts? Yes, ma'am. Let's go, they're like really hot. Okay. Be careful. Mmm, they're so hard. Wow. It's so fluffy. They look pretty good. Look, it is hot. Mm. That's like, um... What cereal is like that? Mm. Cinnamon Toast Crunch? <laughs> no. It kind of tastes like a cereal. Why is everything we eat related to cereal? Maybe we're cereal enthusiasts and we don't really know it. It tastes like Frosted Flakes, if it was a cinnamon sugar version. Yeah, so that was our day in Hollywood. And you know, with Cody moving out here, I really want him to get the full experience. And unfortunately, we did have, or have, COVID, I should say, going on right now. But you know what? This is something that I feel is safe for us to enjoy. Just remember to keep washing your hands and, you know, wear your mask. But... Thanks for joining us today at Funko Hollywood and at City Walk. Continue to stay safe. Like, subscribe, comment below, share us with your friends and your family, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.